Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says that for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future my name is Edris I came from Middle East and I grew up as a person with a, t uh, with a face outside Christianity. I came to the U.S. eight years ago to pursue my studies uh, for, graduate st for graduate program, specifically chemical engineering was my major. So I grew up in a very uh, wealthy family and uh, although I, uh, but uh, I didn't have a good uh, childhood for a number of reasons. Uh, but I was a very good student from the beginning. All the time I was among the top 3% of my uh, class, even unto the end of my, when I finished my uh, doctorate. I always wanted to go to the United States for uh, my graduate work. And uh, one of the main reasons is that everybody knows that the uh, U.S. has the best uh, schools in the, con in the world. But uh, I don't know why I wanted to just go to the U.S., not uh, Canada, not Australia. Uh, I was so uh, committed to go to the U.S. And I, I don't know where it came from, but uh, I sacrificed everything to get to that point. Uh, I studied a lot and uh, I got a scholarship from University of Colorado. Uh, I came here in eight years ago with two suitcases and very little money and uh, that was probably the life-changing uh, journey for me and i came to, to uh, i landed in uh, actually in o'hare and then i uh, went to denver uh, that was there when i uh, met my neighbor who were an older couple uh, they were very patient very nice people and they invited me to their bible studies which happened every thursdays and at that time, I, had, uh, I didn't have any faith in Christianity. But they were very patient. They knew that I'm a smart person and they cannot penetrate to me uh, quickly. So they were, they were very patient. I actually didn't, uh, didn't go there for Christianity or Bible, just to, to see the people that were there. And at the end, they were uh, praying for me, but I was paying no attention to their prayers. And, uh, but yeah, they, they, they kept praying for me. They were very patient. And that was there where I uh, got to, and I observed those people in the Bibles. I went to their churches a few times, but, most, but I was probably, uh, most of the time I attended their, attended their, uh, uh, their Bible studies. Very, very nice people. They were families that getting together every Thursday nights, and I just observed them very uh, well. And everybody has their own problems in their lives, but I saw that how how genuinely moral people they they are. They were very resilient people, very competent, uh, and uh, that was the point that I uh, got to know Christianity and uh, specifically those couples. Uh, helped me a, a lot. So that was the starting point because at that time uh, I, I probably I would say that those couple and those people just brought down the uh, intellectual arrogance that I had. I thought that I can justify everything with science and uh, I don't need metaphor but after observing those people and I tried to go to to with a fine with a fine tooth comb, I just went to in my life and saw that what what everything that happened into my life, what was within my control and what what of them were were out of my control. Uh, I thought a lot about that and uh, I realized that virtually everything that happened into my life was out of my control. Then I realized that oh I, I'm not the master of my house. Probably that is the tipping point of my conversion to Christianity is that uh, Christianity says that life is suffering but you can transcend your suffering. I was in uh, Denver and then for uh, continuing my graduate work I went to Salt Lake City to Utah to finish my graduate study that's where I uh, finished uh, got, got, I got my doctorate when I was in Salt Lake City I joined another church and then I saw that oh uh, I see the same similarity here and uh, I think there's something uh, uh, big on underneath Christianity and that was the uh, place that I uh, became Christian 
when I graduated uh, from uh, Utah, then I uh, applied uh, nationwide, and I got an offer at DMAC, uh, and I had other opportunities. Uh, and those offers came at the same time and I packed out everything I was ready to go but I didn't know where to go because I had offers and uh, they were equally, equally uh, good offers for me and I just asked God said, I don't know what to do I, I, have, I don't know which one is the right path and something inside me beckons me forward to go to uh, to a Des Moines at that time I called I didn't know how to pronounce it correctly and uh, then I followed that path I knew nobody in Iowa I even didn't know how to pronounce Des Moines correctly I didn't know those two S's are extra I, I just googled uh, churches nearby and I just I just found uh, reach as one of the top few searches and the moment that I saw uh, reach uh, I was gripped by that and even by looking at the photos of the ridge I, I just liked it and then at that time there was uh, two years ago I joined uh, I came to Iowa and even reached two years ago and we had uh, uh, evening services on Sundays uh, that was where I joined uh, reach but the first the first year was very very difficult for me between I just got to know uh, Chuck and Julie Weeman which pretty much adopted me as their uh, son uh, then uh, Chuck invited me to their Bible studies and uh, but I didn't go co constantly because uh, I was very busy but on and off I went there and there I met uh, Jeff Champagne and uh, I just saw I just attended the church uh, the Bible study twice and I saw Jeff twice and after this one month, this difficult one month, I called Jeff and he came to my home and when he saw my home, uh, he just went beyond his call of duties and helped me a lot, a lot to uh, get furnitures. And that was life changing for me because I, I was laid low at that time. I had nobody, I, I basically uh, needed some manpower to just lift the stuff to bring it to the home. But Jeff helped me a lot. Uh, that was great for me. Thanks to COVID, I had to work from home. And also I'm lonely, so I felt very lonely at that time. Uh, we, we had uh, Bible groups by Zoom call and uh, I just maintained my relationship with those people. Uh, that was a really, really difficult period for me. But uh, whenever I... I feel very lonely and because sometimes it's unbearable for me. I just try to write down whatever that I, God has given to me, whatever that I have. Uh, the list goes on and on and then when I, list, when I look at that list, then I stop complaining. What I really like about Ridge is that uh, they, they, they just trust strangers. I was a stranger in the Ridge but many people just trusted me and especially Chuck and Julie women who uh, put me on their wings uh, and many other families and people that uh, they, they are really good good friends of me and it means a lot because I have no family in the country and uh, they, it's, it's, it's something that I'm eternally grateful for that.